we're quite well prepared for lots of time when there's not much going on, nobody around, and sort of fending for ourselves. So I feel a bit of a fraud, really, because being on here, it's out with what I see every day. I don't, I've got no TV or anything like that, so I don't really know what's going on. And I'm not bombarded with it every five minutes, which I think a lot of people are. We're very fortunate, really, to be in this situation, you know, compared to a lot of folk, it's, uh, it's not good, you know, it's not good at all, but um, no, we're, we're very fortunate, we don't, have, we don't forget that, you know. This is the lounge, in the lounge right now. This is uh, all for the, um, for the staff, for the people that live here. We've closed the hotel, of course, and we employ 20 people here and about 15 live in. And so this is their home. I think it's my job, my responsibility to ensure that, that they remain in their home. And that's what's happening. They're remaining in their home. And we are absolutely lucky really really fortunate that we're on an island and it's 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 not actually closed but there's only only really residents toing and froing this has really been a bit of a, a slap to everybody isn't it it's really a shock and it, it really is it, everything closed i mean it, who would have thought it who thought it could ever happen i'm uh, wayne hamilton and uh, we're on the island of inch Kenneth. I've not really got a title, but uh, caretake the island, manage the island. It suits, suits me, doesn't suit others, you know. I can go weeks without seeing anybody, but that suits me. It can also get very lonely as well in the winter time when it's when the weather's really bad and it's dark early. And I, I, I'm an ex-Royal Marine, so it, it doesn't scare me at all. But um, no, it can be it can be kind of spooky. But uh, go on, say hello to your dad. You okay. We'll go for a walk. I remember watching the, an article on the um, coronavirus in, in China. I live on Mull and not a problem, you know. The community has just sort of come together and said, right, we really got to get on with it. Uh, just anything anybody can do, they'll do. Boys delivering stuff all over the island. The community's rallied round as far as that goes. And it's, it's a good community. Do you know how many volunteers we've had? Is that right? Yeah, we've got all over the island. We've got two three, to three hundred volunteers. Two to three hundred volunteers. We've had a lot of donations yeah, for got, the food bank as well. So it brings a tear to your eye. Yeah. Genuinely, it's very, very emotional. We're pulling together so much that we will come out of this as a stronger unit. I think we'll come back stronger. I've talked to people in the village when you're lining up to go into the shop at the co-op that I've never talked to before. Um, all of a sudden, everybody wants to say hi and how are you, and that, and the words keep. I see a lot and hear a lot. Stay safe and are you okay? I'm sure people have made friendships out of this situation that possibly wouldn't have happened had it not happened. And I, I think that's a good thing. You know, it's got to be a good thing. A bit like a winter storm, mutting down the hatches and wait till it sorted itself out, and we'll be okay. I think. Yeah.